For the first episode of Checksum, we looked at why NVIDIA recently bought Mellanox. That's an acquisition that, if you work in IT, has some big implications, and it showed that NVIDIA truly saw itself transformed into a data center company. At over $7 billion, it was the company's largest ever acquisition. But now we're hearing rumors that NVIDIA might be interested in buying the chip licensing giant ARM. Given ARM's ubiquitous presence in modern smartphones, it might seem like that acquisition would be squarely, if opportunistically, focused on NVIDIA's previous mainstay business of consumer silicon. But if you look a little deeper, the Mellanox and ARM acquisitions could complement each other quite nicely. So the first thing we got to talk about is why ARM is up for sale even to begin with. The company was acquired fairly recently by SoftBank back in 2016. At the time, a blockbuster deal worth about one TikTok or $31 billion. If you don't know who SoftBank is, they're a giant Japanese conglomerate that runs the Vision Fund, which is a sentient pile of money that invests cash in tech companies as a late-stage VC. The fund had something like $100 billion invested in various companies, with three of the biggest being Uber, Slack, and WeWork. Even before the pandemic hit, SoftBank was already over $600 million underwater on its Uber stake after its disappointing IPO. Slack had similarly faced a lackluster debut and has had to fight Microsoft Teams for growth, and WeWork... Yeah, not great. Now, add in the COVID-19 pandemic, basically forcing Uber to come up with a completely different business model. Remember, for a company that has never made a cent of profit. And let's just say that suddenly SoftBank is a motivated seller. Which is why it isn't too surprising to see the rumored acquisition price of ARM be relatively close to that $31 billion they paid for it back in 2016. But the bigger question is, why does NVIDIA want ARM? Well, obviously, their highly profitable mobile chip licensing has got to be a big part of this. They have a backbone of virtually every mobile device out there, and with Apple adopting ARM chips for upcoming Macs, it shows that the IP will soon probably be found in more traditional computing markets, typically dominated by Intel. That business will certainly be a steady and substantial source of revenue for NVIDIA. But mobile is also approaching something of a saturation point. There will be tons of chips used for new devices, but the question is, how much growth is there for whoever owns ARM? Now add in the fact that one of the biggest growth markets out there for mobile, China, is in an extremely precarious position with trade rules shifting on an almost daily basis. We've already seen the U.S. crack down on foreign chip makers earlier this year, so there is no guarantee that Uncle Sam won't try to turn the screws a little further, especially if ARM is owned by an American company. Previously, ARM got around this by being a British company working with SoftBank, but I'm not sure how that changes with an NVIDIA acquisition. So where is the growth opportunity for laying out all that money in ARM? Well, I think the play here for NVIDIA is the same reason the company acquired Mellanox, but also for smaller acquisitions like SwiftStack and Cumulus Networks that they did this year. This is all about the cloud. While ARM in the data center isn't a major market now, the public cloud providers are making some noise that they see it possibly becoming one. Amazon is now in its second generation Graviton processors, and Ampere is creating 80 core ARM processors designed specifically for cloud workloads. Look at NVIDIA's recent acquisitions. Mellanox gives them a high-performance interconnect. SwiftStack gives them a scalable data management platform. And Cumulus Networks gives them the OS to put on bare metal switches, giving them a cloud-scale networking play. Given ARM's potential to grow in the cloud, an acquisition by NVIDIA would fit into that overall vision for themselves as a data center and cloud company. There are a lot of ifs about this acquisition. While NVIDIA is reportedly the only company in serious talks right now with SoftBank, 30 ish billion dollars is a lot of money for any company. I'm not going to pretend to understand the financial chicanery that will be required to make this deal happen, but I feel like Nvidia is squarely in the driver's seat. SoftBank is motivated to sell, and Nvidia is uniquely in the position to have a supporting tech stack to take advantage of ARM's assets and isn't guaranteed to draw regulatory scrutiny the way other potential buyers like Qualcomm, Samsung, Broadcom, and even Google would. They'll still have to battle to get approval, their ARM licensee after all but I don't see who else makes sense to buy ARM right now. If they do go through with the deal, it'll complete the realignment of the company from a graphics card maker into a cloud and data center powerhouse. That's just about it for this episode of Checksum. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Gestalt IT for more great stuff in your feed every week. And let us know, who did we forget as a potential suitor for ARM? Let us know in the comments. Can't wait to hear from you.